Hello students, welcome to Avila, where law is simplified. This is your professor Dr. Ambarish R. Patnigiri. And in our lecture series of the Indian Evidence Act, in the previous lecture, we spoke about relevancy and admissibility, the two important terms which I explained to you. Today, we are going to start chapter 2. The chapter 2 starts with section 5. Let's look at section 5. I want everyone to open their barrack to understand section 5. It is very, very important. So, let's look at the heading of section 5. Evidence may be given of facts in issue and relevant facts. Means, when can be an evidence given and of what can be evidence given? How can be evidence given? These are all mentioned in this one section. Evidence can be given of facts in issue and relevant facts. No other evidences shall be brought before the court. So, if anybody wants to bring an evidence before the court, he has to only bring an evidence which may be given of fact in issue or relevant facts. Now, let's look at this section. Evidence may be given in suit or proceeding. When an evidence can be given? Evidence can be given where the matter is going on before the court and the matter is said to be suit or proceeding. When suit or proceeding is going on before the court, evidence can be brought. So, we have answered the question, where can the evidence be given? When can be the evidence given? Now, evidence can be given of fact in issue, which is either of existence or non-existence. Fact in issue and of such other facts, which as in here in after, declared to be relevant and no other. Means what? That when the relevant facts are to be brought before the court in suit or proceeding, okay, which may be of every fact in issue, then whatever is mentioned here in after, section 6 to 55, based on these provisions and this section only, the facts can be brought before the court and they can be said relevant fact about fact in issue. So, no other. What do you mean by no other? No other means if the facts which you are going to bring as a matter of evidence, if it doesn't fall under the purview of section 5, 6 to 55, you cannot bring those facts as a relevant fact. Hence, the topic itself we should understand. The name of the chapter is the relevancy of facts. There are certain exceptions. Let us look at the exception of section 5. This section shall not be enabled any person. This section shall not enable any person to give evidence of fact which is this entitled to prove by any provision of the law for the time being in force relating to civil procedure. That means if the civil procedure code stops you from bringing the evidence, then this Indian Evidence Act also will not allow you to bring the evidence. This is the exception of section 5. Let's understand certain things. What are the particulars? Particulars are fact in issue. What are the particulars? Relevancy of fact covered under chapter 2, section 5 to 55. Okay. Only what is not allowed by civil procedure code shall also be stopped as a relevant fact by the Indian Evidence Act. It shall not be allowed. Now, there are two examples which have been given illustrations. The first illustration is a criminal one and second is the civil one. The illustrations are given in the book. It is very easy to understand. A is tried for murder of B by beating him with a stick with the intention of causing his death. At A trial, the following facts are in issue. A is beating B with the stick is one of the facts in issue. A causing B's death by such beating, this is another fact in issue. A's intention to cause B death is another fact in issue. This, the second illustration is of civil proceeding. A suitor does not bring him with him and having in readiness for production at the first hearing of the case 
a bond on which he realizes this section does not enable him to produce the bond or prove it contains at a subsequent stage of the proceeding otherwise then in accordance with the condition prescribed by the code of civil procedure that means if the civil procedure code stops him from producing that document at the later stage then indian evidence act will also not allow this is what section 5 says i hope so i made section 5 which is the basic section of chapter 2 very clear if you have understood the concept please give a like subscribe the channel share with your friends do not forget to give your valuable comments at abhilavcomments@gmail.com thank you